you know a young girl who loves to explore and get out into nature, you'll want to hear about this. Yeah, Girl Scouts and Rose Pest Solutions are teaming up for the Butterfly Bash. And the best part? It's all free. Rose Pest Solutions' Janelle Iacchino joins us now with more. Welcome back, Thanks. the bug lady. It's always nice to be here with you guys. Always good to it's have fun. you here. It's so much fun. Yeah. Talk about butterflies and Girl Scouts and STEAM and how that works together. Yeah, so twice a year we put on something called a Spark Day with the Girl Scouts of Greater Chicago and Northwest Indiana. Mm -hmm. um, and Spark Days are designed to be deep dives for Girl Scouts or registrants. It's not, not exclusively Girl Scouts, but registrants can do, take a deep dive into any area of study. So I always focus on bugs, of course, because uh -huh. I'm the bug girl. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, and I've done things in the past like honeybees and decomposers and stuff, but this time it's going to be all about butterflies. And there's no better place to do that than the Peggy Notabart uh -huh. Nature Museum. Yeah, ah, yes, yeah. they have beautiful butterflies there. And so what will you be talking about during Spark yeah, Day? Yeah, so we're going to take a look at butterfly scales on their wings under a microscope. Cool. We're going to talk about how do they taste? What do they see? Like. Oh. Yeah. Oh, how they taste. What's, yeah. Not us eating them taste. Okay. Uh, we we're not eating them. Okay. okay. Oh, all right. How well, actually, they butterflies, butterflies taste, taste their nectar and pollen. Okay. Um, and things like, what is their vision like? And we're also going to talk about conservation, um, endangerment, monarch butterflies, mm. and specifically about migration and things like that. So, I mean, it's really just everything having to do with butterflies, cocoons, so chrysalises, cool. all that stuff. And then, of course, the butterfly. Fly Haven is a real life experience where you're going to be amongst all of those flying yes. critters. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so for a lot of people, they might be going, hmm, Rose Pest Control and Peggy Notabart's butterflies? How does I that know. marriage yeah. work? I get this question all the time. Like, why would a pest control company join forces with someone who's promoting nature? But I think it's because of the misperception of what modern day pest control is. Mm. We're not here to wipe out species of things. It's about the balance of humans and nature. Sure. And the Peggy Notabart is Chicago's oldest museum. Museum. They were founded in 1857. Rose was founded in 1860. So we both yeah. have deep, deep roots in the city of Chicago specifically. But in order to combat any kind of pest invasion in your home, you have to understand what you're dealing with. Sure. And getting people involved with nature and educating them is a combined mission that we share with the museum. Okay, that. so it's pretty much, someone explained it to me, as long as they are outside in nature, leave them alone. That's right. It's only when they come into your <laughs> home yes. and start invading yeah, and causing problems. They can cause structural issues, some are health threats, but you know, it's all about that balance. And that's what we're trying to educate and, and empower people to get to know a little bit better. Sure. And, and you brought some fun toys for I us. Did. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> with the Spark Day, um, there's a special patch that the Girl Scouts will receive Cute. for the, the experience. We're going to go over life cycle stuff. You know, I mentioned talking about cocoons and chrysalises. Uh -huh. um, there are moths in the butterfly haven, too, that we'll be dis discussing. So nighttime pollinators, daytime pollinators, mm -hmm. we're covering it all. Cool. All right, so you said this is not just limited to the Girl Scouts, right? right? Yep. So how do people get involved? Yeah, so there's a registration link. Um, I think there's about 20 slots left open. Mm. Um, and if you are a Girl Scout, you'll get the patch, and that'll count towards, you know, your journeys and whatnot. Um, but it's open to, you know, whoever is curious about that, too. So they can go to the registration link and get signed up, and it is free. It'll be November 9th, Saturday, from 9.30 to 11. Oh, how nice. How does this get girls interested in STEAM as well? Yeah. Yeah, so I think it's it's interesting because it, they're not going to realize that we're discussing all these scientific things yeah. and, and we are going to be doing an art project too, so that's where the A comes in. Yep. But um, I think it's cool for them to see different career options mm -hmm. and career paths that they might not be exposed to in school, you know. So this gives us an opportunity to meet with um, museum staff and mm -hmm. just see all the inner workings of things. So, Is there an age like um, limit that you have? It, it'll be, uh, I think, age four through 11. So oh, it kind of wow. covers so kinda daisies, yeah. brownies, yeah. Girl Scouts. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that is very cool. Yeah. All right. Sneak it a little learning. Yeah, yeah I, I love that. that. I love that. Girls are right. like bugs too. Yes. That's right. <laughs> right. Hey, scan the QR code on your screen there for more information about the Butterfly Bash at Peggy Notabart Nature Museum. You can learn more about Rose Pest Solutions by giving them a call or visit rosepestcontrol.com. Be sure to follow them on social media as well. Again, as Janelle mentioned, the event is Saturday, November 9th, starting at 930 at the Peggy Notabart Nature Museum.